Hello and welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. This is Mods Episode 5 and today we are playing the KW Rocketry Mod. So right now I am trying to figure out how to make a nice rocket and I should succeed while trying to do that. I have practiced over several hours of failing persistently and let's hope that I actually make something that works this time. So that's a start. We're going to have some nice boosters on the side here. Don't forget the couplers. Nope. And yep. Four. That. And these are, these boosters are S SRBs. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool looking things. I think that one's a little bit too big. Let's get a smaller one. Nope, that's too big. Yeah, that fits. Nope, that's not good. Uh, yeah, that, that one works nicely. Yeah. That looks really, really cool, and it fits perfectly. Alrighty, and now we want to move that down. We'll move this up a little bit. Let's find a fuel tank for this. So put that there. Let's find it. Oh, that's, that's pretty big, actually. Put that there. Don't forget the ASAS. And then move this up a little bit. And as you can see here, this is called a fairing base, and this is used. Well, it, it's pretty much a decoupler, but a really cool cool one. So that works out nicely if we place that there. And we put that there. Yeah, looking looking good. And let's try and place some of these. A the smaller one. No. And then you nope. Know. Okay, well I think I've placed down the wrong one, but one moment. Okay, that should work. Should theoretically work. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, too big. Too big. Yeah, that fits perfectly. Alright, let's do that. And there we go. Ooh, that looks very professional. Definitely. You can't even tell that there were two separate parts before. Oh. That's too big. That is too big. That is little bit too big. That's way too big. Did I just check that one? That is not good. What about this one? That's terrible. Alright. Is there any part that will fit? I'm just using... Oh, mm. It actually does not look good at all. Alright, let's get to one of these parts then. We have these interstages which are just circular and already made for us. So I think at least one of them should fit. Yeah, that fits. Anything else that we can use? Maybe? Yes? No? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> Not very well, but it works. And we got it from there, so... Nah. I don't think there's any part that will fit this. I guess I'm just... Oh, there it is. Okay, well that works. Very nice, and that is very professional. Indeed. So, the only problem with this mod is the staging. The staging gets all messed up, so you gotta work on that. And so that works. After that, we would decouple. We would decouple all these. All right, so all four are there. Let's get that. Move that down here, like so. And then we want this. Everything else to decouple. Uh, yep. And then I want that to turn on. All right. So this is all nicely planned out. I think it should work. First go. I don't have any winglets or anything like that on it, so we're going to struggle. But let's hope for the best. It's a little bit shaky down there, isn't it? No problem. There we go. That looks really, really cool. Alrighty. So let's take a look inside and see if anything's shaking. No, it appears, it appears to be fairly stable. Yeah. Very nice. Alright, I think we're going to make it to space. We will make it to space for sure with this. Alright, so we're getting the re-entry heat effects already. That's a rare case when it comes to rockets for me. They never go this fast, but since this is a mod, it is possible. Just a couple of them. Goodbye. And let's continue going on on the side here. Just like that. Alrighty, so let's check where we are at. Okay, that's pretty good. Fuel has ran out. No problem. 
spacebar. And there it is, it just pops out, just like that. Huh, <laughs> that's pretty weird. Alright, so this thing should stabilize itself. We want to be pointing in that direction on the pro grade. Like that. Spacebar. And yep, it's working nicely. Let's see how much thrust this thing has. 120 km, not bad. Better than the, the small, small one. Oh, we're actually moving quite rapidly. Uh, I guess we can fast forward. Time warp, really. To the apple apsis, do a better burn, and we will orbit the Kerbin. But anyway, the KSP should definitely implement these fairings into the game. That would definitely change the game, but it is a mod. It's available as a mod, so I guess I don't have to implement it really. Um, but oh well, oh well. I guess we'll just have to download the mod every now and then for different purposes. And that needs to be extended. I know we're burning fuel here, but no matter. There we go, and success. We have successfully created an orbit around Kerbin. Oh, great, guess what happened? I have no power. Ah, uh, yeah, no power. I ran out of power and I can't control the rocket anymore. How great. It is doomed now. There's nothing I can do. Unless they use cheats, but I'm not going to do that. No! That's not good. So this is the Cyrus Ultra Heavy. It is a good design. It does have a slow liftoff, but still, it does do its job quite well. And it will take some time to get to space. So I'll be right back. So our fuel is just about to run out. There we go, and watch for this awesomeness. you see that? Awesome. That's pretty cool, the way that was made. And now, for the hard part, having to control this thing. Now, please note that this does not have any RCS or any wing to control it right now. The only thing I'm using is the gimbal range on the engine, and that is definitely helping. So let's throttle up. Gimbal range for the win. Let's position ourselves correctly, SAS, there we go, and let's watch the magic happen, so see where we're at, 74,000, yep, seems good, and this thing does have quite a lot of thrust, you wouldn't think of it, but yeah, look at that, 1,000 KN, so it is definitely a lot of thrust, although it does look like a small, small engine, it's plenty, and we do have a Rocket Max fuel tank in here, check it out. Check it out, and a whole bunch of other fuel tanks. That's why this thing is so heavy. And we have these nuclear rocket motors. Probably not the best motor, but still they work. Alrighty, so fuel's about to run out. We need to be quick here. Spacebar. Ooh, and look at that. That was awesome. Spacebar again. Check it out. Awesome. Yeah, I really like the way that looks. Pretty cool. Spacebar. Again, this thing had a missile in it, and then space bar again. So many space bars. Okay, so this is a problem. I don't think there's any. All right, there is RCS on this thing, so it should help us get repositioned. I didn't know that actually. I couldn't see it from before. Wait, it looks like oh great. No, you know what's happening? We've just hit the atmosphere. Uh, I wasn't quick enough. We failed our mission. We have failed. How great. That's a lot of RCS actually, if you take a look. It's quite a lot. And this is doomed. Alright, what else can we do now? Spacebar. <laughs> Evacuate. Save yourselves. Actually, there aren't any Kerbals on this thing, so I think we're fine. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Pretty cool. Oh, we can throw it all up. Good enough. Let's help ourselves increase in speed. This heavy beast. And there we go. That was a failed orbit. Really failed. I knew that was going to happen. It wasn't quick enough. Alright, the re-entry heat effects are gone. Now time to crash. Alright, so now where shall we crash? Straight. 
Uh, let's point it downwards a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Time up. Time up. Oh, it's gonna be a splash. Can we save ourselves? Yeah, let's try and save ourselves. I don't think it's possible. We're too late already. Yeah, too late. Yeah, yeah, too late, too late, too late, too late, too late, too late. <laughs> way too late. Way too, way too late. Only if the damn thing had a parachute. Oh well. Anyway, guys, hope you in enjoyed all that. It is a really cool mod. I definitely advise you guys to play it. Um, if you want to create your own thing, it's mainly for rockets, as I said. Not really for any flying type of machine. Just, just rockets. But anyway. I really enjoyed this mod, thank you for watching and see you next time.